cool scene for a music video. Yeah. What was that? You guys both posted that incel insane clown posse yeah. article. What the fuck is that? I didn't read it. I didn't read it either. I didn't read it either. <laughs> <laughs> Most of those, I will the say, only reason I shared is because I have a joke about juggalos. I'm trying to sell, I'm it, trying I to just promote it. Was funny. How, I just I would say 90% of those articles that I share, I just think here's the yeah, I, 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 I agree with you. I think the reason why they're trying to pin it as like he's the uh, uh, he's like the incel hero is yeah. because it was really like a working class hero yeah, have thing. Have you seen the movie? Not yet. Dude, there's no, it's got nothing to do with sex. Yeah. It's got nothing. He he doesn't even try to get laid. Yeah. He has some fantasy in his mind about some chick that lives next door, but... I mean, that does sense. sound pretty standard. In fact, he may not doesn't... even be the Joker, because he's such a fucking pussy and such a moron. <laughs> I just can't imagine he's a fucking supervillain. He's just such an idiot. He brought a gun to a I children's watch hospital. I want to see him dance. <laughs> you can see in the previews, he's like... No, I, I would have watched... I but can watched we talk the, about the, like, how inherently regressive the Christopher Nolan Batman is? Yeah, I guess so. Like, He's supposed to be like a fascist, right? Well, well like, look they at the... put Velcro on this thing. Wait, Christopher Nolan is, you mean? Uh, well, I mean, the movie. Isn't Batman kind of like a... F well, Isn't there like an NSA reference in that thing? And, definitely, yeah. And the villain blows up the wall. All fucking superhero movies are regressive because they're all well, horrible it happened, people. It, it happened during Occupy Wall Street, yeah. right? And they made Bane as like, this is what'll happen if Occupy Wall Street wins. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Or that well, Occupy Wall Street is just a scam for yeah. evil people. And I'm like, whoa, wait, so you want me to get this straight. If you let Occupy Wall Street have their day in court, yeah. uh, they're going to have a mercenary army in the sewer. Like, yes. that's, that's the first thing they're asking for. <laughs> like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hey, did Before you Before we get to free college. Do we get mercenaries in the sewer? We need the Foot Clan. Hey, did you? And then we can start taking other stuff. Did you guys ever see the Spider-Man with Michael Keaton? Yeah, you did. Uh, but that was that was way back though. Yeah, I don't I think know. I ever saw it. No. He's a fucking. He runs a construction. He's a construction guy. He runs an independent contractor. His job gets taken by Tony Stark, and then he goes out to get revenge. Yeah, that one. In the name of his family and all the people that got laid off. And he's supposed to be the villain. That's my point. I think that's why they're butthurt. But you don't hear people complaining about that. Yeah. They don't go, oh, this sends a bad message for blah, blah, blah. You don't see, oh, Michael Keaton just can't get it. Or no, Tony Stark just can't get pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Stark. First of all, if he's a billionaire incel, that's very sad. I, dude, I, I don't even think I know what the word incel means anymore. I think it... It started as like a reference to people who can't get pussy. Well, more or less. But at the same time, like, is it that, that like blame women for everything? Yeah. And are like, it's inher That's the thing. Like, it's like it's inherently. It's that kind of thing. It's not like. Well, yeah, because if you look at making some, making fun of somebody because they lack sexual prowess. Yeah, exactly. That's toxic masculinity. I saw. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, these guys contradict. These guys contradict themselves all the time. But it's I think the down. reason. I think the reason. It's punching for, down. I think the reason why they jump on them is because they're so hyper misogynistic in why they can't get laid. That even uh -huh. though making shitty they can't get laid jokes is uh, toxic toxic masculinity. They're like. Well, these guys don't count. Yeah. But you see these anti-Joker yeah. articles, and then you read the comments, and they're straight down. They're just, oh, I love this movie. I love this movie. And then one guy today, I read, one guy said, the only people complaining about calling this movie a movie for incels are incels. Yeah. <laughs> The people, oh no, the people who first of all, who only would expect a shitty are scared or offended by this movie. But seriously, who who would expect a shitty subgroup to miss the point of a film? You know, like uh, Proud Boys when they basically t took on Fight Club. Yeah, although he that guy's a Jordan Peterson fan. Who is? Uh, what's his name? He went on Ed Chuck Palahniuk. No, Chuck Palahniuk. Probably Chuck Palahniuk. That doesn't surprise was me. Was on actually. Joe Rogan. Yeah, and oh, I saw quoting, that episode. He was quoting, he was quoting like Jordan Peterson like yeah. he was fucking Herman Melville. By the way, the, the best part of that interview by far, there was a po time where he was talking about his friend, uh, not a friend, but like some guy he had had a long conversation with who had worked in the morgue. And this 12-year-old kid, a uh, boy, was riding a bike and got into an accident, flew off the handlebars, hit his head, died. 
Uh-huh. And the words that he used was perfect naked body. <laughs> but so everybody was go- losing their shit like he was a pedophile. But the point was that he hit his head, so there's no physical damage yeah, yeah, to yeah. the rest of his body. Yeah, people are illiterate. People That's are hilarious. illiterate. Yeah, people are. Illiterate. But um, yeah, he. I always think he makes up stories too. I don't believe that there are 20 people that come to readings and start vomiting because of the power of his words. I yeah. read his book. I didn't feel nauseous at all. I read two of his books. I felt nauseous. But that's just because the that boring like reads. Yeah. He's one of my favorite authors. I don't know who we're He's talking about. Here. Oh, the guy who wrote Fight Club? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, thank but anyways. You. Anyways. Oh, what's his name? R.L. Yeah. Stein? <laughs> First of all, I read every Goosebumps except for the... Uh, Daniel Steele. Finish your own... Daniel Steele. Daniel Steele? Daniel Steele Dillo. Danielle Steel Dildo. That's, that's a good. <laughs> I'm fucking hot tonight. Warming up. Save Warming it for the up. stage. Fail. Dude, I'm reading a poem tonight. I'm sorry. Did you do a poem tonight? I'm trying to diversify my audience. I'm You're going to gonna fucking kill. I'm going to die laughing. <laughs> it's a laughing. funny poem. I'm going to be laughing the whole time. Good, it's a funny poem. You'll be like, this shit doesn't even rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> say, say, wait till it's over and then go, that doesn't even rhyme. That shit didn't even rhyme, dude. <laughs> Do it loud enough so the camera picks it up. <laughs> that doesn't even rhyme. You'll know when the poem ends and just be like, there'll be a pause and then, then people will clap or whatever and you should be like, that doesn't even rhyme. <laughs> I really want to see you do that. Okay. They're not going to get mad. They're cool. Yeah. They know we hang. But, uh, yeah. As, but anyways, so, like, you figure that's the number one movie, Joker, right? Right now. So couples are probably in there and all this shit, right? Yeah. Okay, I, no offense, because I know you're an insane Couple clown posse insults. fan. I, first of all, I I'm hate their thinking, music. Let me put, let me I'm get just to, thinking, I want to be I on the record that, about my feelings of ICP. I think the viewers listened, of that movie get more pussy than ICP fans. I'm just guessing. First of all, you have no idea how much pussy you get when you have a bunch of whippets. All right, that you do, juggle. That's a I used to do whippets all the time. Never got laid. I was too busy doing whippets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you've falling never been on my s- face and fishing out on the carpet. You've never been selling whippets out of a tent at the uh, family gathering. Like no, that guy is getting tons of pussy. Gathering. 